Eli Whitney and the Cotton Gin. Born 1765 in Massachusetts, Whitney was most famous for the invention of the Cotton Gin. Before the Cotton Gin, cotton wasn't a very profitable crop and was largely outshadowed by tobacco and sugar. Cotton required long hours of tedious work to be picked, cleaned, and prepared to be sold. The invention of the cotton gin drastically altered the course of slavery, and therefore history, in the United States. The cotton gin cranked cotton through rollers with teeth made of water. Through a simple arrangement of belts, the cotton was cleaned. For many, if not all field slaves, the cotton gin merely meant more time picking cotton and the physical labor cranking the gin itself. Every night after work was over, a slave sat to gin cotton. But the slave's well-being also depended on the plantation. We raised corn, barley, and cotton, and produced all our living on the plantation. In 1790, before the cotton gin, there were only six slave states, and by 1850, there were 15. By 1860, a third of all southerners were African slaves. From 1790 to 1808, almost 4,500 slaves were brought over every year until importation was banned. By the time of the Civil War, there were almost 4 million. Within 10 years of the cotton gin's invention, profits from cotton went from 150,000 a year to 8 million a year, or more than 100 million today. By 1850, three quarters of the world's cotton was grown and sold in America. Today, Cotton is collected with tractors and cleaned with mechanized chains. America is still the world's third largest producer of cotton. And as for Eli Whitney, his legacy still lives on, such as the museums dedicated to him.